Hey now, what's happening? I'm here with my good buddy, uh, pilot, Captain Kurt Pinto. Kurt, thanks hey, for talking up? with us. Um, he's going to tell us about his journey and what it took for him to become a pilot and that kind of stuff. So uh, let's start with how long you've been out here. When did you start? Oh, I started running tugboats when I was 23. When you were 23. Okay, so mm -hmm. a long time you've been out here. Yeah, 2001. 2001. All right. And uh, you started on deck? Oh, uh, yep. We uh, actually, when I first started, we was on deck, and then uh, somebody wanted me to run tractors. So I went out to Pearl Harbor and ran tractors uh, hardcore for like two months. Okay, Pearl yeah. Harbor, like Hawaii? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they had uh, the Navy contract, so it was a lot of, a lot of banging around, of, you know busy busy area for us with the tractor so that's where they train people okay that's cool yeah so i just went on there and i lived uh, on the tugs out there and uh spent thanksgiving with a family from hawaii uh, samoan <laughs> that's pretty cool yeah we took turkey in the beach and all right learned that you're not supposed to swim at night with sharks no yeah i get that <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know any better so you went out there like Oh, yeah, but... Somebody stopped you, Oh, yeah, you, flippers, paddling around. No, they just told me the next day that... <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, lucky I didn't die, yeah. Um, all right, that's so, cool. Uh, but, yeah, it was cool. They went, yeah. wove the baskets out of the leaves and stuff and made Thanksgiving stuff. All right. It was cool, yeah. Yeah, experience Thanksgiving in Hawaii. That's cool. Yeah, um, yeah. When... All right, so did you go to college for this? How did... Yeah, I went to Maritime. I uh, was... Upstate New York, uh, there was no work unless your family owned a business up there, you know. Right. So there was basically nothing for us. It's usually, it's mostly outside money. Okay. All my friends traveled. Most of the guys traveled to work. Okay. Cool. Trains, uh, high line, power line crews. Right. Tugs, you know, stuff like that. So when you got out of college, that, that's when you went to work for that company out in Hawaii? or Yeah, that, I went out on a tanker, a manual tanker. Okay. You know, turning valves on that for a few months, and then uh, they didn't have any work for me. I got home with a bunch of money and nothing to do, and that wasn't a good combination for no, me. No, I get that. <laughs> so I called them back. I said, I got to go back to work, uh, you know, before I get in trouble. So, right. Uh, uh, but they didn't have any work, and the, the tugboat company did. Okay. So I ran out there and started running tractors pretty quickly, and then uh, I did that for a few years. Then I left and went to the Hudson River, and then I started running the canal. And uh, the Hudson River out to Connecticut, okay. stone, scrap, single and screw that, stuff. Okay, yeah, towing. that's what I was about to say. So that was towing in anything moving up the Hudson River and that kind of stuff. Yeah, stone, uh, item four, stuff like that. Okay. And swapped a lot of barges. Um, And then you went down to Florida for a stint too, right? What was that? Oh, that was before. That's where I ran the tractors. Oh, uh, okay. We took tugs into Fort Lauderdale when they first went in there. Okay, cool. Um, so when did you come to McAllister? Uh, it was 2006, I think. Okay. So I spent a couple of years, Florida, a couple of years, uh, running the single screw boats. But you were already yeah, in the yeah. wheelhouse by the time you got here. Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then you started here doing what? Uh, I started here, I came here to run tractors because they needed somebody else to run tractors before I jumped onto the outside tow boats. Right. But that's what they hired me for. Okay, yeah. So back then, tractors, like, it's not as common as it was now. This was just the beginning of the tractor tug era. Yeah, yeah. Say. I had a lot of experience on them. So, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, backward stuff. Because a lot of the ports, right. they... The fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the ports, they just do what they hear tractors can do, you know. Right. So you'll be doing seven knots, and they'll make you turn around backwards under the flare and take your line in, you know. Right. Is, not fun. Yeah. <laughs> I know now it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> but at the time, I'm like, okay. I, I could do this. I knew when I was at seven and a half knots and I took the tug and turned it one day and, you know, black smoke's corner out of it. I had everything I could do to get it around and I got it around. I had to keep it from running away. And uh, on the old cruise ship, there's like an old steam cruise ship that people were up there cheering like, raw. I was like, I know <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> People shouldn't be cheering like that, you know. That right, means you no. did something that probably wasn't. You shouldn't know, have been. Safe. I don't know if I would try that. For, not at seven knots, maybe at five no, knots. I could still do it, but yeah, I don't think that should be common practice. Right, no. Okay, so when did you know you wanted to be a pilot, and what did it take to become a pilot? Uh, everybody, I mean, 
coming up in the industry all thinks you know hey pilot that's cool you know you right. want to be a pilot and uh you know when you're younger especially us we were told we'd never be a pilot unless you knew somebody right um you know i worked with a lot of other pilots state pilots uh sea pilots uh, all kinds of pilots one of the tugs and then i came here just to work you know find something closer to where i grew up in upstate new york so this isn't far and then i saw the docking pilot stuff and it was an avenue for People like us, that right? Tugs, you know, and I'm like, that's great. And uh, I work with these guys like Sundergar, Bob Moore, Artie, all these right. other Mike Schnapp, Bob Yells, all these guys. And uh, it was like night and day. I'm like, wow, you know, I worked with these pilots, and I'm like, these guys are great, right? You know, man. not to build anything else, but they just it's just different when you've been here, right? No, no, I get it. Work with guys. I'm always careful to talk about that because you don't want to insult other people. It's just, but it's the truth. Right. And uh, they're, they're fantastic, you know, and I was like, wow, this is so different. Those guys know? are so smooth with it, too. And I saw an avenue and I said, wow, you know, so I just went after it. Okay. And I said, well, you know, if I don't get it, they turn me down. At least I know I tried. If, if uh, I don't try, I'm just going to kick myself because I know I want it. Right. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I want to do the next level. Tell like uh, I know you have to draw these charts from memory. What did, what did tell us exactly what that is? How many pieces did you have to draw to become a pilot? Uh, I think we're about 14, 13 or fourteen. Fourteen whole charts. Now this is just half of this chart. So, yeah, it would like, be zoomed in more. So it would be like upper bay would be to here, you know, here. Okay. And here. And you know. what part did you have to draw from memory? Well, they give you just the shorelines, basic outlines, and this is all empty. Right. So you got to draw all the course lines, uh, dredge lines, all these uh, shoaling, all the buoys and the depths and the major aids to navigation. And then you got to put in points of reference, you know, on the shoreline. So it's a wow. lot. Yeah, that sounds like a lot. And 14 pieces for New York Harbor. Which some of the guys have more, but we just do what we are operating spaces. Right. Okay, cool. And how long have you been a pilot here? Oh, uh, let's see. Ten years. Ten years. I, I went to pilot, I think, in 2014. Okay. So it's ten years, yeah. Nice. Uh, what do you think your favorite thing about being a pilot is? Like, what do you like most about the job? Uh, it's hard. I love the job. Right? I love the job, too. Uh, so what I, I like uh, most about <laughs> it, when it's nice out and it's not the middle of the night. You know, it's, <laughs> it's not 3 o'clock in the morning. You, the wind's not blowing 30. Yeah, you can't get a better <laughs> job. Um, it's great. Right. I love being up on the ships and doing that. and I don't really think about it because I never thought I'd ever be a pilot. So when you're doing I just doing what right. I you just do. En yeah. You just enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have an attitude about it or I don't, think, I don't get a big head. And right. I work with all the guys. I always remember where I came from, you know. And I, I love right. the dogs. Yeah, it's been great for me. I came from, you know, farm country. And, right. You know, my father worked in a feed mill and my mother was a nurse, so. You didn't think that you'd be piloting ships no, around New York Harbor, huh? Yeah, to be able to do this, it's great. That's right. why, you know, I always try to tell people, and, you know, McAllister, I was real thankful to them to give me, for that, to give me the opportunity. Right, yeah, no. Uh, you know, I, it's crazy, you know, that I had the opportunity to do that. Right, and, you know, just, you know, I don't have a desire to be a pilot. I probably should have, but McAllister's given me the opportunity to pretty much do what I love on a daily basis and then go home for the two weeks. So. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, you know, and they're it's a good company. You know, from that standpoint, they do. There is opportunities here for people. Yeah. Right, there is. Um, what would you tell anybody that's aspiring to be a pilot? Any one word of advice or any little bit of advice? Start running tugs. I mean, there's all <laughs> different kinds of pilots, but right? it's the best training you're going to get. Right, is this hands-on running the tugs? Yeah, especially when you do barges. barges around, it's, right? it's a natural progression. Right. Really is, you know. If, if you haven't done it or somebody who hasn't done it and they're a pilot, they'll tell you it doesn't matter. But that's with everything, you know. Right. Even wire work is not like, uh, you know, it's not the same as doing ships. I mean, what's that got to do with that? But it teaches you and it puts you in a higher stress situation. It teaches right. you all the current. Wind, wind. you got to pay attention. Right. I mean, you got to be on your around. game. Yeah, yeah, you cannot. And with the tug, is it's, it starts out right away. It's just you. Right. You're in the wheelhouse by yourself. Nobody to dogs. ask. Yeah, there's nobody. <laughs> you can ride 10,000 ships. It doesn't replace that. Right. And no, the stress, you know, and you've done it. Yeah. On the bar, I know. What it feels like. I like this a lot more. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, when you're coming in somewhere and you gotta round up or you gotta pick a barge up and it's right. blowing and it's tough. Or get on the getting on the wire is tough. Right. I enjoyed going to and from the docks, but I did not join enjoy getting on or getting off the wire it was probably the highest stress for me. I could do it. It wasn't always pretty, but that was probably the highest yeah, that's stress. Yeah, the lower right. biggest chance to happen. Exactly. Yeah. You're gonna lose it. That's when it's gonna, that's right, gonna and, happen. And you have to just stick with your gut in those situations too. Or is now the time to flop? And do I need to slow down another half a knot or whatever it is? You just gotta make that call and do it. Yeah, I like speed when I flop on it. <laughs> Yeah, it it brings just, it right around. Yeah, and once you get used to it, coming off the wire is a lot nicer than getting on. Right, once you get used to it, you're right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, anything else you want to add to? Uh, no, that's it, man. I love working with Willie. Yeah. Uh, I love working with Willie. Once you get bored to go this low in the town, pull over. <laughs> <laughs> he is actually the first person I asked for a pilot. Uh, thank you so, so much. Yeah, no it's problem. a pleasure working with Anytime, you. Anytime, man. Thank Anytime. you for doing that. Yep. Hey guys. Mm-hmm.